Okay, if you have a uh, BIOS password um, enabled on your Toshiba uh, laptop, I'm going to show you how to uh, remove the BIOS password. <clears throat> this model that we're working on is a satellite uh, C655-S55. One four, and this fix will usually work with, um, you know, a lot of the Toshiba laptops within this particular model range. Probably the C six five five, or if you have another variation, let me turn my phone off. Okay, so first things first. Basically, what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to remove your battery make sure your battery is out of there and then also too you're going to want to remove your your hard drive go ahead and do that I'm trying to do it left handed because I'm holding the camera And then sometimes uh, within the hard drive bay, there's going to be another screw. It'll be right here. That's holding in the hard drive. I'm going to go ahead and pop out the hard drive. And then let me show you. Um, inside the memory bay, you're going to want to open up the memory bay. And what I like to do is I like to remove um, the lower stick of uh, RAM. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out the top stick and go ahead and get out the bottom stick. And you can take the bottom stick of memory and then just put it into the top uh, port just to kind of get it out of the way. Um, and what you're going to be looking for on this particular model, uh, it's very tiny if you can see it. Um, it's called a, it's the uh, label for it is B500. And let me see if I can zoom in here and get that. I don't know how the focus is going to look at this camera. It's not very good, is it? Okay. And what you're going to want to do is, there it is there, it's a better, better angle. Um, B500 which is right there. So you're going to want to get uh, maybe a piece of wire or maybe like a flathead screwdriver or something like that. And you want to touch, touch those two points together. But you want to avoid touching anything else around here because you don't want to short out your uh, motherboard. Um, so we're going to um, basically short these, these two um, uh, points of contact while at the same time turning on the laptop computer. Now this will remove your uh, BIOS password if someone has put a, a BIOS password on your computer or onto another computer and you can't get access to it. If you've put the password in like three times and it will shut off your computer um, then you have a BIOS password enabled on your laptop computer. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to short those two points while turning on the laptop, okay? Okay, so we got our, our laptop um, and what you're going to want to do is uh, you want to get kind of like maybe like a little, uh, like I said, a flathead screwdriver, a, a piece of wire. Um, I'm going to be using a, a sponger just the flat end of the sponger and where I can just touch touch the two pins together here 
Um, so what you're going to want to do is you want to probably put the laptop up on its side, um, like so, and you want to plug in your power cable because uh, you're going to need power to flash the BIOS password. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the power cable so now that we have power. And if I can zoom in here, um, let me see if I can get a little tighter for you guys. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and touch those two pins together here on the B500 uh, pins. And I'm going to go ahead and hold that. And now what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn the power on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and press down on the two pins and turn the power on at the same time. And if it doesn't work the first time, uh, try it again. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we have successfully removed the BIOS password on this Toshiba laptop. So what you're going to want to do now is obviously um, put your memory back in and put your uh, hard drive back in and uh, reboot the computer and you should be back in business. Um, I've been in business for 13 years and I have my own repair shop here in uh, Brooksville, Florida. Um, so if you ever have any questions, uh, you can click on the link to go to my website um, or post, post some comments and I'll try to answer them. And thank you and have a nice day.